This piece, the Bronne de l'Officiel from Toino Arbo's Renaissance Dance Manual Orchestography, is probably the most frequently performed of Arbo's tunes these days, although not under its original title. That's because it was used as the melody for the popular English Christmas carol, Ding Dong Merrily on High. In this video, we'll look at both of them, starting with my ocarina version of the Bronne de l'Officiel. The Bronne was one of the most important dances in 16th and 17th century France. There were many different types, but the common factor was that they were danced in a line or circle, with the dancers moving sideways. About half of the dances in orchestography are Bronze, 25 in all, but this was clearly only a small selection of all the different types that were danced. The Bronne is even mentioned by Shakespeare. In Act 3, Scene 1 of Love's Labour's Lost, Armado's page asks him, Master, will you win your love with a French brawl? which he describes as to jig off a tune at the tongue's end, canary to it with your feet, humour it with turning up your eyelids, sigh a note and sing a note, with your hat penthouse-like o'er the shop of your eyes, with your arms crossed on your thin belly doublet like a rabbit on a spit, or your hands in your pocket like a man after the old painting, and keep not too long in one tune, but a snip and away. The Bran de l'Officiel is the last of the bronze presented by Arbo. He says that it has only recently received recognition, and describes it as a dance that involves the man lifting his partner into the air. There are two main theories for the meaning of the word officiel in the title. The most commonly accepted is that it refers to the office, or the household servants. The dance is quite similar in character to the Prone du haut Bawa, which Arbo says is danced by lackeys and serving wenches, and sometimes by young men and women of gentle birth in masquerade, disguised as peasants and shepherds. Another possibility is that Arbo originated the dance, or named it for himself, as an officiel was the name of an ecclesiastical judge, a position which Arbo had previously held. His description that the dance has only recently received recognition might also be a way of tacitly acknowledging this. On the other hand, its peasant-like character makes the other interpretation more likely. Ding Dong Merrily on High is a Christmas carol that uses the melody of the Bronne de l'Officiel, with a four-part harmonisation by Charles Wood and lyrics by George Ratcliffe Woodward. It was first published in 1924 in their Cambridge Carol Book, which consisted of 52 songs for Christmas, Easter, and other seasons. The strange thing about Ding Dong Merrily on High is that the lyrics don't really mention Christmas at all. If anything, they're more of a song about bell ringing, something that Woodward took an interest in. At least two other songs from the Cambridge Carol Book were set to harmonisations of tunes from orchestography, Blessed Without and Match to the Bronne de la Touche, and Christ is at Thy Portals to the Gavotte, but neither of these achieved much popularity. I'll end this video with my version of Ding Dong Merrily on High for four ocarinas. I've transposed it to G major, but otherwise it's the same as Wood's arrangement. <laughs> 